All right, guys, so we're going to pick up right where we left off with light. Um, last week, the main focus that we've really been talking about is kind of what light can do, whether it um, can be reflected, refracted, or absorbed. And a lot of the times with whatever light decides to do has to do with the object or the material. So if light's being reflected, uh, a lot of the times light's being reflected off something smooth and shiny, right? And when light's being refracted or bent, it depends on the medium that it's traveling through, whether it's going through the, whether it's just going through the air and then hits glass. And it can depend on how thick the glass is or how thin the glass is. Uh, so when it's being refracted, we know it's traveling through and bending. The, the, the wave of light is slowing down, right? And then when it's absorbed, we talked a lot of the time it has to do with its color. The darker um, the object is, like the, the pavement outside or wearing a black t-shirt, it can absorb up to 30% more light. And the more light you absorb, that can be converted into heat energy. You can, you can definitely feel the difference there. Now, what we're going to start focusing on today is really the object itself, not so much the light. But an object, anything that we think about, can either be transparent, translucent, or opaque. Now, what the light decides to do really depends on the item, whether it is one of these three things. And we're going to start with transparent. And I think you've probably heard the word transparent before. Um, and any definition that I have here, it might be a good idea to pause your video and jot it in your science notebook. And we'll, we'll show some examples too. But if an item is transparent, that means it allows almost every single bit of light to travel through it. it it's, it's almost like it's see-through. So when I think of just, I'm in the classroom right now, when I think of something that's transparent, something that I can see right through, I just think of our classroom window. Um, and I can't really turn my screen right now, but you, you've been in my room. When I look out that window, I can clearly see the brick wall on the fifth grade hallway. That's because all the light is able to travel through that window both ways, and it just allows me to see everything clearly. Uh, a couple of examples that I have on here, maybe, I'll just move it this way. That window right there, imagine that's your living room. You're looking out the window. You can clearly see those mountains out ahead. That a window at your house could be transparent. Now, they, not all windows are transparent, but that exact picture right there, you can see all the way through it. All right, fishbowl. If you got a fishbowl, you got water, you got a goldfish in there, you are clearly able to look through that bowl into, the, into that water, uh, and you can see your fish. You see it with your eyes, it's reflecting back in. It's transparent because all that light travels through and you can see through that glass. And then the other one I had, I thought this was a pretty cool one. Um, since we're all wearing masks, she has a section on her mask that is transparent. I can see directly through it. I can see her smile, I can see her teeth. Actually, um, Ms. Smith, one of the third grade teacher, he, teachers here has a mask that is transparent. So we can see directly through it. I think the easiest way for me to remember um, transparent, because the next one sounds very similar. But you've got the prefix trans, but then you've got parent. And you may be too young to understand this, but one day you will. Your parents know everything. You think you're being slick and maybe you're getting, getting away with a lie? No chance. They know. Um, and a lot of the times your parents will ask you a question, but they already know the answer. So when I think of transparent allowing all the light through, they, all the light goes. When I think of a parent, I think they know everything, kind of like how the light, all of it can go through. So when I think transparent, I think of all the lights able to go through. When I think of my parents, so they know all this stuff about me. Um, that's the way that I remember. So when you think transparent, just think all the way through, nearly all the way. The reason I want you to not get transparent confused is because the next one, translucent, um, sounds very similar, but obviously the definition is different. Translucent does allow light through, but not all of it. So the light kind of scatters through, it kind of refracts through, I guess would be a better way to, to put it. Um, but the object on the other side is kind of blurry. It's not something that you can clearly see what it is. So if that fishbowl was translucent, when I looked into it, I would see an orange blob, but I maybe wouldn't know that it's a goldfish. 
Uh, the reason I know it's a goldfish is because it's transparent. I can see all the way through. With translucent, some examples are, if you look into this bathroom, they've got a, a little glass wall right here. And behind that glass wall, they've got a shower head. And this glass is translucent because obviously you wanna have some privacy in the bathroom. Um, and you can kind of see this little white window here, this rectangle, you can see where, you can see through that door and see that it's there, but you can't clearly make it out. Like you can't see these lines through that translucent glass like you can over here. So light is going through, but anything behind that glass is not gonna be clearly visible. Uh, another example, and this is not, this does not mean every cup, but they have uh, this plastic cup, for example, you could see through it, but the object on the other side may look a little bit blurry. So some light is traveling, excuse me, some light is traveling through, but not all of it. And then another example, you might actually have some of these in your binder, these sheet protectors. This is a translucent sheet protector, it's plastic. But you've got some washers right here, these black donut looking things. And you can clearly see that there are some underneath of the sheet protector. But if you look here and here, they're a little bit more blurry than they are on the outside of that sheet protector. That's because some light is traveling through, not all of it. And again, translucent is going to make that object on the other side look a little bit blurry. There is a perfect example of something that's translucent, but I'm saving it for the end because it, it, it'll, it'll make a lot of sense once I get to it. So you can probably make a logical guess here. Transparent means all the light's going through. Translucent means some of the light's going through. Opaque must mean what? Think about that. So if an item is opaque, that means that the light is either just reflecting off of it or it's absorbing all of the light, meaning you can't see through it. So like this board right behind me, it's smooth and shiny. It's reflecting light, but it's opaque because I can't see through it. Um, if it was transparent, I'd be seeing out into the hallway. If it was translucent, I'd also be seeing out there, but not very clearly, it'd be kind of blurry. So it's either gonna be absorbed or reflected if it's opaque. Opaque just basically means you can't see through it. Uh, an apple would be an example. You can just look at it. It is shiny and smooth. That light is just being reflected off. You cannot see through it. And I mean, opaque to me is the easiest one to come up with examples for because not many things are see-through. I mean, I've got 10 things right here that are opaque. Calculator, ooh, this is a good uh, translucent one. Let me, nah, I don't wanna go back. This is translucent because you can see my hand. That's a little bit blurry. That's a good one. But like this calculator, you can't see my face through that calculator. It's opaque. My cell phone opaque my mask opaque those that light is either being reflected or observed ab absorbed excuse me another example i've got is this book if this book was not opaque we'd be able to see his t-shirt behind um, the book we'd also be able to see his thumb here but again that light is either being reflected or absorbed it's not see-through and then a door, the whole reason you got a door is for privacy, right? Uh, now some doors have windows, some doors have openings, but that door specifically, you cannot see through it. It is opaque. So again, real quick, and I'm gonna kind of have you do this as I, as I go. I'm gonna ask you the question, I want you to answer it. Transparent, all light goes through. Your parents know all, all light goes through. Translucent, some light goes through. You can't see through it clearly. It's a little blurry on the other side. And opaque would mean that it is either absorbed or reflected. You cannot see through it. No light can travel through. So I'm going to pull up a picture. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And I just want you to decide whether it's transparent, translucent, or opaque. I'll give you about three seconds on each of these. So this solo cup would be opaque. You cannot see through it that light is being reflected or absorbed. Moving on, the reason I'm making these bigger is so you can kind of study it with your eyes. Look at this one carefully. Now, the leaf of this plant would actually be translucent. It's not opaque because if you look closely here, you can see the fingertips of this person's hand, not perfectly clear, so it's not all the light is not traveling through, but some is. 
that's why it'll be translucent because it's a little blurry on the other side, but I can still make out that there's fingertips back there. All right, I was just focusing on this gentleman's car window or his sunroof. So his car window would be transparent. You can see directly through it. I can see that van very clearly. Um, now there are tinted windows that maybe you could consider as translucent, but this specific window here would be transparent. All right, this spoon, maybe just focus on if you had this part right in front of you. This spoon would be opaque. You cannot see through a spoon. And you know that light is being reflected off of there because when you look at it, you can see your reflection. Now it's not smooth, so the reflection that comes back won't be the exact image of yourself, uh, but that would be opaque because no light can travel through that. Let's see what you got on this one. So this one's kind of funky, right? I could easily see where you would say, ooh, this is opaque because you can't see through like this part of the brick, right? I could also see where you would say, well, it's transparent because I could put my eye right through this hole and see directly through it. So that's kind of a trick one. Normally a brick with no holes, that's clearly gonna be opaque. For this one, depending on how you hold it, you could say it a couple different ways. You could say that parts of it are transparent, parts of it are opaque. Um, if, you, if either of those popped into your head, um, you're on the right track. All right, t-shirt. T-shirt's gonna be opaque, and this t-shirt specifically would absorb a lot of light, which you would convert to heat energy because it's a little bit darker than um, maybe another color. It absorbs more, reflects less, so that would be opaque. All right, you've got a mailbox. We just got a letter. Just got a Mailbox, another example, this would be opaque. You cannot see through it. That light is being reflected and absorbed here. Um, that would be opaque. I right, got some sunglasses. This was the example that I was talking about where I think it's the best example of something that is translucent. It's definitely not transparent because when you wear sunglasses, you're trying to block the sun, right? Okay, so if it was transparent, that means all that light would travel through, go straight into your eyes, they would serve no purpose. If it was opaque and no light traveled through, you wouldn't be able to see. You'd, you'd essentially be blind. With translucent, not all the light's coming through. Um, now, the image on the other side of it's not blurry, so you could say transparent there um, with the sunglasses but the, not all the light traveling through those lenses is what we're saying is um, translucent. Last but not least, imagine this is your living room. Looking out the window, very clearly see a car here, truck here, tree here. That would be another example of something that is transparent. So tomorrow, you're not gonna have a video or anything tomorrow, you're just gonna have a Google form um, where you're gonna have five to 10 objects and you're just gonna have to decide whether or not they are transparent, translucent, or opaque. So you can always come back to this video to watch um, or if you took those definitions like I asked you to, um, you'll have those in your notebook and you're more than welcome to use that as well. Uh, if you guys have questions on any of that, let me know. Hopefully that helps. Um, and tomorrow, like I said, no video, just gonna have one, um, short Google form to knock out and you will be done with that. All right, guys, appreciate you watching.